everyone welcome back or welcome to my drawing channel if you're new so today's drawing is going to be osmosis jones what about the cop and the pill well, let's just say if they give us a problem fire bon, 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 bon. Ow. Did I do? Hey, that's a virus. We should arrest him. No, man, that used to be a virus. If you've ever seen that germ-related movie, it's about when the germs are inside of you and they're fighting against the bad germs and all of that. I was in elementary school or middle school when I first seen that movie and it was so good. I've had this saved to draw on my phone since probably um, 2020 or something like that. In this picture that I'm showing you guys, this is kind of like what I'm going to be drawing except for like the detail in the background. And then on this picture, I added Thrax. I think that's how you pronounce his name down at the bottom and he's covering up the words that's how you know I just added him in because I wanted to draw him as well then we're going to be drawing of course Osmosis Jones the blue one and Drix the pill at the top I've been keeping my products in the BH cosmetics roll thing that I have that I got from my makeup brushes but I've been keeping all of my um, miscellaneous pencils and stuff so I did go out and buy the Prisma color pencil in the shade PC122, it is a true bright red. I have been looking for the red for a while now. Gold Faber or Gold Faber, these two reds that I have, they're red tones, but they're not like that true red. And back when I was going to actually do this video, the red was sold out. So you could definitely see the difference in the two reds. They're both so pretty, but they're different types of tones. And then I also went out to Michael's and finally picked up a Posca. I think that's how you pronounce it marker this is a 1m5 fine point <laughs> five point <laughs> a 1m fine point white marker because I've been using this paint marker from the family dollar and it has that thick tip which is so messy also in my previous video I drew Marvel moon girl and devil dinosaur and you can see how the red looks because I wasn't using the right type of red so I had to mix some reds I think in a video I'm going to show you guys like the difference between like all of the color pencils and stuff and show you that these higher quality are worth the price you'll definitely be able to see the difference with the red that I use the Prismacolor red in this video so let's get started on this drawing
be trying out the Poshka marker for the first time and this is great. <laughs> it has that fine point which makes it a lot easier to focus in on where you specifically want to paint at instead of making a mess like the other chubby sick does. <laughs> now the one downside which I find consistent with all of these markers is that you have to be careful when pressing down because obviously to activate all of these markers you have to first press down on the tip of it to activate it and as you're pressing down to work with it you know when you're doing your actual coloring in it can still bleed and run so that's something that these brands should start considering is twist markers so you twist to activate it and instead of pushing down because obviously as you're pushing as you're using it you're going to be pushing it down which means you're going to be wasting and running out a lot of that ink to paint the background i'm going to be using the dollar tree crafter square tempera i guess that's how you pronounce it watercolor paints there's basically the primary colors in this um package red yellow blue white and then the black which white and black are great for either mixing making colors lighter making colors darker things like that i'm going to pour a little bit of water into the paint palette and then i'm also going to squeeze a little bit of this yellow paint as for now and then for my brushes i use different brushes dollar tree michaels walmart brushes <laughs> so it really doesn't matter but i'm just going to get out a brush dip a little bit of the paint into the water back and forth to get the consistency that i want and then i'm just going to paint around dricks for for now I'm gonna do the rest of the painting off camera I did not realize that my camera stopped recording as I was getting into the painting because I was trying to see how these colors were gonna to mix together I will definitely say that the lighter colors are easier to work with the black is not when it comes to trying to mix the colors together you know like get a nice blend going from yellow to red was great you'll be able to see it when it just automatically pops up on the camera but the black it definitely left a stark line between the red and black it does not blend well with other colors and if you try to add water to the black it'll leave it patchy so I had to mostly use the black paint without water and then also after the paint dries even after it dries and you try to layer on top of it it will reactivate the paint underneath <laughs> so there was a lot going on there was there was a whole lot going on nonetheless the paints are still great it's just that I personally need to work with it more this is my first time and you know we'll get better over time I do like the blend around Drix with the white to yellow to red it made it look like he was popping through the clouds and I also love how that white marker made the drips that Thrax at the bottom has running from him also I did draw the Warner Bros icon in Bugs Bunny which is so adorable <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I will see you guys in my next drawing video